Blabberize is a website that lets you animate the mouth of pictures. And we're going to use this with the uh, screen recording utility in QuickTime to basically create uh, media for other projects, kind of like a app version of App Smashing on the Mac. The nice thing about this, even though I'm using a Mac, it'll work with any computer, and you can use different screen capture utilities available to the other platforms. Uh, we're actually going to use this uh, with a class for uh, iBooks Author projects, but you could use it for anything that would let you put video in it. All right, so we're going to the website blabberize.com. Check the spelling, because I've misspelled it, and you get some interesting things that way for sure. All right, and I'm going to click on make. You don't even have to register for an account. You can if you want. I never do. And we're going to find a picture. I already have a picture of William Shakespeare downloaded. And I did that. click browse, and I'm going to go to my desktop to William Shakespeare and open. I'm going to click the next button. And this little guy right here is the boundaries of the mouth. So we're going to sh basically shape these little markers here to kind of conform to basically the shape of Shakespeare's mouth and depending upon where I put these dots will just kind of determine the overall look and feel of the mouth that moves. I will tell you if you put this thing upside down and do the entire head what you'll get is a South Park like Terrence and Philip type effect where the head moves up and down when the characters talk and that's a lot of fun too. I'm going to click next and I want to record from my microphone so I'm going to click microphone it'll connect to it and it asks for permission and I say allow and now you can see the mouth moving when I talk so this is kind of a neat function the louder I talk the bigger it moves the softer I talk the softer it moves and you can see with the little green indicator how loud the recording is. All right, now I'm going to fire. Uh, the next thing that I would do is fire up QuickTime and take a screencast of just this area. So, as I'm already kind of recording with that, what I'm going to have to do now is break and record from a different device to show you how that's done. I apologize for the quality of this video. But what I'm doing is now I'm going to take a break from the previous recording and I'm going to show you how to enable QuickTime to do a screen recording. And since that's what I use for my screen recordings anyway, I got to have a secondary source to record. So I'm going to click on the launch pad and inside of your, your launch pad you should have a folder that says other and inside of other we're going to find QuickTime player. Now it gives a screen to where you it will ask where you want to open the file I ignore this and instead I go up here next to QuickTime click file let me focus that and I go down to new screen recording now movie recording in Yosemite if you have your iPad plugged in is a great way to record the iPad screen uh, just play with it you'll figure it out it's not hard we're gonna click new screen recording now one of the things that typically goes wrong you can see how the the volume is being picked up by the microphone because of the way that these lines are moving as I'm talking. It's not uncommon that you'll see nothing and really what you all you have to do is just click on a down arrow and select the microphone. Usually it's the internal mic. Then I click recording and there's two types of recording. You can do full screen or partial screen. For this next demo we're going to do partial screen because in Blabberize I just want the area around Shakespeare. Okay, so I'm going to click right here and I'm going to drag to just this area around Shakespeare. And then I'm going to let go. Now, when I'm ready, I can click start recording. And the nice thing about QuickTime is if I have a few extra steps, I can trim those off later. Now, I usually like to have a my script on a sticky which I already have open and I'm gonna put that up but let me go ahead and click start recording first so now QuickTime is live and when I'm ready to stop I'll actually click up in the menu bar up there to stop it now I'm recording in just the area around the bard and I'm gonna read from my sticky note 
which you can see right here. I'm going to record as I read and then I'm going to trim the excess down using QuickTime, which is simple. You just click edit and trim when you have the final product up. All right, here we go. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. And now that this is now when I would click the stop button and stop the video. Okay, once you're done recording, your video pops up and you're going to want to title it and let me get this one selected and I'm going to go file save I'm going to take out the grammar and just save to the desktop and then I can drag and drop it into my project if I want to see what it looks like all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players they have their exits and their entrances you can see it there if I need to trim it if I click edit and trim I can just drag this to, to trim off pieces that I don't want oftentimes I'll use this in conjunction with iMovie to assemble different parts from different sources to create kind of a fun finished product I'm gonna cancel the trim because I like it as is and that's basically it go to blabberize.com drag your picture in put the mouth in place go ahead and fire up QuickTime make sure the mics on by clicking on the arrow do a screen recording and then drag around the area that you want to record when it's done save it and as far as Apple goes it's ready to drag and drop into projects other platforms you might have to manipulate it a little bit more so that it it goes into the final product you're trying to use but again this is kind of a cross-platform method of creating some fun stuff so I'd love to see what you guys come up with, and I'm uh, looking forward to the project as a whole.